Hey everybody, so we have a special guest from LA today, and she is... Nikki Baum. <laughs> so Nikki is here with us today, and we're going to ask her a few questions. So uh, what are some of the projects that you're into? Uh, well, currently I'm working on very art house, experimental, horror, kind of macabre, thriller, mystery genre. Mm -hmm. Uh, my latest film, Ida, which is playing also at Montgomery International Film Festival, played at CGIS uh, last year. And, uh, and so, yeah, so kind of that's what I'm doing. We just uh, shot another film. It was also kind of a macabre fantasy, like horror art house. So, yeah, that's kind of the stuff I'm doing right now. That's amazing. That's amazing. So for some of the audience who might not be too familiar with your work, could you describe a little bit about what you do, who you are? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I started off as an actor. I am originally from Croatia. I grew up a uh, part of my life in Canada. And uh, I came to the U.S. in 2007 to study acting at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. And then I moved to L.A. And then I fell in love with filmmaking after I did my first script and produced a short film about domestic abuse called Nothing Happened. It was an experimental piece. It went to a film festival in Colombia, Muestra Audiovisual Cine Sinu. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And after that, I kind of really fell in love with filmmaking. I mean, I've always had a passion for filmmaking, but kind of acting was what I started with. And then I started doing more filmmaking, and I started writing more experimental shorts because I'm a huge fan of experimental cinema, art house cinema, anything that is kind of obscure, different, out of the ordinary, daring, raw, you know, edgy, just doesn't follow the norm. And uh, some of my biggest inspirations are Jan Schwankmeier and his experimental work, uh, particularly on Faust and Lunacy, um, as well as Polanski and his work on The Tenant and Rosemary's Baby and all kinds of stuff like that. And then, of course, there's Jodorowsky and uh, Santa Sangre and El Topo. So it's kind of surrealism mixed in with experimental and art house is what I do. Okay. Well Wow, that's a, so <laughs> quite a journey you had. Yeah. So, so could you tell us more about how you transitioned from an actor to, to you know, being mm -hmm. a director? Yeah, so it, it all started off with uh, kind of um, feeling like the additions and the acting projects and stuff, like the actor can kind of feel like very inert and like we're not really doing much. We're constantly just waiting for other people to tell us what to do and or give us a job or whatever. and. I just came to a point where I was like, I have so much energy, I need to go do something and I want to be a part of things, you know, not just in front of the camera, but also behind it and learn the process and be able to express myself. Mm -hmm. And so I started with my first short film, Nothing Happened, um, which was an experimental about domestic abuse. Um, I wrote and produced it. And then after that, I did another short film, uh, an experimental film called Grief. It is about... Um, um, a very abstract uh, visual of a dancer in nude mm -hmm. going through the seven stages of grief mm -hmm. uh, that is currently in post-production. Um, and then after that, I did Masho's Descent, uh, which is um, a short film about a serial killer mm -hmm. who goes to the desert to commit suicide. And he ponders upon nature versus nurture in the debate what mm -hmm. created a serial killer and what created him. So I tend to, so I basically kind of journeyed into it, you know, by just having a lot of free time and, uh, and wanting to just really express myself and find new things to do. And uh, I really fell in love with the process. And I think that if you really love it, if you really want to like try it out and just enjoy it and like give it your best shot it filmmaking is just such uh such an amazing process like both from the from the pre-production to the production to the post-production it's just um amazing to see your work just go from one to the other to the third and then become this like new thing and your vision alive so yeah that's kind of yeah what well. yeah there you have it. I think we, we found the secret sauce to be, becoming a director. <laughs> yeah. So, Nikki, I, I, I noticed you have a card in your hand. Could you tell us what that is? Or? Yeah, so this is, uh, this is a little postcard uh, for my film, Ida. And as you can see, Ida was an official selection at the 51st Sieges Festival Internacional de Cinema Fantastique de Catalunya. 
Uh, it is one of the most prestigious film festivals in the world for a horror, uh, fantasy, sci-fi genre. And we were in the Novis Visiones category, which is um, uh, new visions in the small format, short film. And the film is going to be screening here, so I'm not going to talk much about it, but it's about a man who no sees two dead bodies in a motel room, so he makes a phone call and a voodoo Mephistopheles comes and offers him a deal to find out the truth. Once he does find out the truth, it's much more than he bargained for. So it's kind of a take on the age old tale of Dr. Faustus mm -hmm. and the deal with the devil, but like in a more twisted and weird way. So it's an art house short and um, okay. we're prepping it into a feature now. And uh, yeah, so that's about Ida. Wow. And Ida okay. actually means wrath in uh, Latin, Latin and Spanish and Portuguese and yeah. Wow. Oh, seems, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like you have your hands full, a lot of projects. Yeah. 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 So um, in terms of the next couple of days now that you're here at the Montgomery mm -hmm. International Film Festival, what are, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to or you're trying to accomplish? Well, I was actually really, really honored and excited about being asked to judge the Montgomery uh, Film Festival. Uh, thanks to Kirk Ride uh, for recommending me to the festival. Um, I really, really loved being a part of it, um, watching all the amazing films. It was just absolutely out of this world. The films were just so stunning all completely different, uh, totally unique, and with visions that were just absolutely passionate and spicy and fun and tragic and just like the epitome of really good art house filmmaking. And each person took an incredible journey to really push the boundaries of what what they can do as well as the courage to take them mm -hmm. into these places. So um, preparing for it and what I'm, I'm excited about here at the festival itself is just being able to meet these filmmakers um, in person, watching the films on the big screen. I mean, I tried to really watch them on the big screen at home. I didn't watch on the computer uh, because I believe that every artwork should be watched in the highest capabilities you can and um, I'm excited to see it on the big screen uh, there's some really amazing work in the festival um, I'm just um, I'm just inspired um, I am touched and I'm absolutely exuberant about everything and everyone in the festival and the organization has been great and um, I'm just really really honored to be here Thank you, thank you. Is this your first time in Maryland? Or? Yes, first time in oh. Maryland, and I actually really like it very much. It's, oh, yeah. it's, very, it's a very, very nice atmosphere and, uh, and very chill, and, and I've only been here a couple of hours, so, but I'm pretty sure it's really, really beautiful, and yeah. I'm glad you like it. Well, welcome to Maryland, yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. Maryland's great. It's, 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 it's great. Okay. Well, thank you. Yep. Oh, I have one oh. more thing to say. Um, very important. Um, uh, if everyone can just uh, take a moment and go check out what's going on with the uh, fires in the Amazonian jungle. Uh, there are ways to help. Um, you can search online. There are several links. Um, so please uh, share it. Talk about it. Raise awareness. Um, this is our future on the line, and um, we have to stop the fires in the Amazon jungle. So please, please, please take action.